Now this is a, a, a question. Uh, it's a functions module. I N E question number twenty eighth ninth part. Uh, we'll discuss how to draw graph of greatest integer of mod y equals to four minus greatest integer of mod of x. Right. So uh, like see, the, I'm discussing this question because somebody has asked in the forum. And uh, see, uh, like the important thing is how to draw it. Not specifically this graph, graph of any function using transformation. So see, first of all, see you cannot do it like you start with mod x and and then uh, start sketching the graph. You pick mod x function and start p uh, sketching the graph because mod x is there. No, no, that's not the right approach. You start with this. You simplify uh, it step by step so that you can reduce it to a basic function, right? So uh, I'll simplify this step by step, and finally I'll have a, a basic function whose graph I would know. So to simplify this, we can we can use only the transformations available. We cannot go out to the transformations available. Now in this case, you can see uh, we have a transformation that if we know the graph of f x, we can draw graph of f of mod x. So this can be drawn with the help of this. So similarly, we can reduce the complexity of this because we can see mod x here through mod x. I'm simplifying mod x to x, and or or we can do that. We are either you can simplify mod y or you can do mod x, right? Mod mod y is again a transformation. Mod x is again a transformation. There is no other step you can take here. Greatest integer x transformation not possible because we don't see greatest integer x here. Greatest integer sign is there, but greatest integer s such is not there. that we need to see greatest integer x greatest integer y to use these transformations so only two options we have is either you simplify mod x or mod y if you simplify mod y then we can draw graph of this from greatest integer y equals to 4 minus uh, greatest integer of uh, uh, mod of x now we can simplify this mod x we can simplify here again you have two options you can also simplify greatest integer y instead of mod x but let's let's do mod x uh, let's go in a systematic way mod first of all and then simplify mod first and then greatest integer so we can draw this using the graph of this applying transformation on this to get graph of this and this can be drawn using y equal to 4 minus greatest integer x And and this using straight line y equal to four minus x. So this will be our starting point. We'll draw graph of straight line. Replace x by greatest integer x. So apply transformation steps that we have learned for replacing x by greatest integer x to draw graph of second. In second we replace y by greatest integer y. So we know how to change the graph when we replace y by greatest integer y to get graph of three. And then four, replacing x by mod x. And from fourth to fifth. By replacing y by greatest integer of y, right? So if we start sketching, like we we'll start, uh, we'll plot. Uh, start from straight line. Uh, graph of straight line x plus y equal to four. X intercept is four. Y intercept is four. Right? See, now uh, I'll draw uh, mm, uh, x by greatest integer x. You know, when we replace x by greatest integer x, we draw vertical lines at integer points. I'm not going to draw graph. In other quadrants, because later I have to replace x by mod x and y by mod y. So reflection of first quadrant in all the quadrants will go. So let's draw in first quadrant only. You know, draw vertical lines, mark points of intersection, and from every point of intersection we have to draw a step towards right of one unit length, open towards right. So I'm not, I'm just applying this result, right? Uh, from every point of intersection between graph of straight line and horizontal line and vertical line, sorry. Mark points of intersection, and from every point of intersection, we draw a step towards right of a unit length, open towards right. Like now, we I have I have already drawn the graph of uh, this one, second one, second to third. I have to replace y by greatest integer y, and it means I draw horizontal uh, lines at integer points, mark points of intersection, 
now you can see there are infinite points of intersection between y equal to one line and and the graph of uh, uh, the second function all these are points of intersection all these are points of intersection right and the tips and the and the step says that or, or tip says that from every point of intersection we have to draw a step up of one unit length open at top like this so you can see there are infinite points of intersection and from every point of intersection if i draw a step up is going to be an area it will bound an area instead of uh, just a curve like this so this is the graph of the third function in first quadrant now third to fourth we have to replace x of mod x replacing x of mod x means reject whatever we have in left half and take reflection of right half into left half so you can do it yourself like uh, and there is nothing in left half because we plotted nothing because we had an idea that we'll have to take reflection about y axis so we decided not to plot anything in second quadrant so now you take reflection of first quadrant to second quadrant and once you have uh, the uh, the first two quadrants right we'll take we'll reject lower half nothing is there we whatever uh, like we reject lower half clean lower half and take image of upper half and lower half so you can see this uh, stair kind of uh, graph will come in for all the four quadrants right and again i repeat that don't just uh, uh, choose some transformations and apply them first of all the function whose graph is to be drawn you st step by step reduce the complexity of that and the complexity should be reduced with a valid transformation and once you have the simplified form right you know how to draw graph of that start from that and uh, retrace the path